but this video is uh, in documentation of uh, how to plug in the adjustment knob on the E90 headlights. Uh, I just want to let you know that um, before attempting this, uh, the, the key trick to it is to make sure that you see the, the, the inner adjustment joint, which is a beige or a cream color joint. So right now you can't see the inner adjustment joint, but uh, with my hand inside the headlight housing, you're able to maneuver it so that you can start seeing the inner adjustment joint. So I'm going to try to uh, uh, maneuver it so you'll start seeing the, the inner adjustment joint sliding in place. Alright, so trying to move the headlight housing. Alright, you're beginning to see the adjustment joint come in. However, it's important that that joint moves all the way to in position so that uh, pretty much the adjustment knob can lock in uh, place. If the inner adjustment joint is not pushed back to its appropriate position, uh, the adjustment knob will never lock in place. This will always constantly pop out so it might uh, cause some trouble in the future so as long as you uh, ensure that the inner adjustment joint has been pushed all the way back you should be able to lock in uh, the adjustment knob. Alright when placing it the key thing you want to hear is a pretty much a click so once you hear a click that click right there you know your adjustment knob is already inside in place. Uh, you want to make sure also that uh, the adjustment knob it's a flush against the housing. So if you see any gaps within uh, this spacing, pretty much you did not lock in the adjustment knob appropriately. Uh, once you got this in place and you hear a click, you should be able to adjust it uh, with a screwdriver and you should slowly see the housing moving. Uh, we do recommend to project the beam output against the wall before uh, moving uh, the inner adjustment joint so that you have a reference point where you started. Again, this concludes the documentation. Thank you so much. For